We're going to move on now to the Times. And does being a backstabber make you a good uh, diplomat, Nick? Yeah, this is backstabbing robots excel at diplomacy board games. So this is a game that's a bit like Risk, if you remember Risk. But it's remember, le- I play it every year. Well, yeah, but instead of being based on dice, it's based on, on questions. This, this, of course, comes from Meta. Zuckerberg seems to do everything that's sort of evil. It's weird, that, isn't it? You mostly, you mostly have, like Musk to build like counterpart AIs to battle the Zuckerberg ones because these AIs are basically learning to be deceitful. That's the problem. They're, they're playing this game diplomacy and they have questions about where they have to sort of form secret alliances. Like, for example, it'll say, I'm looking to invade the Balkans. Will you put pressure on the Ottoman forces in the Levant? And they've got to decide, you know, what's the best thing to do and work out who might betray them and who might not. Essentially, Andrew, we're teaching robots to be the seatless. Well, the most obviously dangerous thing you could possibly yeah, do. So talk to me about this theory, because I don't understand why. Look, firstly, this article talks about how mm. AI now beats the top world grandmasters at chess. Yeah. That's bad enough. Yep. But now they're learning how to lie. Yes. And they already hate us. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so, you know, what are we doing? We're just obviously sowing the seeds of our own destruction. We are, but you should be nicer to whatever robot it is that doesn't like you. Um, yeah, because in terms it, of it'll chess, rule you. I think it's math- called Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In terms of chess, I mean, that's a mathematical iteration. There are X many number of potential outcomes, and so fine. Yes. When you're talking about um, winning diplomacy, you're talking about teaching robots uh, game theory. Again, applied mathematics. So we're getting, but there is a, a hypothetical, hypothetical, sorry, um, future point called. There's a theory called technological singularity that posits that we are going to reach a point in time that tech growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible. Right. And Professor yeah. Stephen Hawking made the point that artificial intelligence or superintelligence probably will result in human extinction. Yes, exactly. Look, even I know that. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm I don't know why we're talking, talking about it. I know that. It's yes. Because I've seen Terminator yeah. 2 and I've seen how... Yeah, yeah, Ray Kurzweil's big theory. But, but look, it says they're building an AI program that can plan, coordinate and negotiate with humans in natural language. It's just not a good idea. You know, I don't it's even not... like this AI art thing, no. you know, when they have uh, computers creating art. It's not good art, is it? Because it's got no soul. It's just it's nothing. I would even go one step back. I'm such a cave woman that I don't even like the floor hoovers that... Oh, Oh, those things? No, because they're mapping your home and that's data that's being given to companies. Well, also, you can trip over them. I've stubbed my toe on many of them. They are good no surprise. cats to sit on. I'm not sure if you've ever seen no. that. No surprise that far-right Andrew Doyle is against robot rights. OK, thanks for that, Nick. <laughs> We're going to move on.